All right, welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we're going to be testing out our API before we hop in Unity. Because um, since in Unity, we need to write up all the scripts and connect everything that way. Using something called Postman is going to um, help us out in this. Postman is basically a program you can download where you can test out APIs really easily and quick. So what you want to do is you want to go to getpostman.com, um, sign up or sign in if you already have an account. Um, you can also scroll right to the bottom here and click on downloads to download it. Here for Windows, we can just select which version of Windows you have, or if you're on uh, Mac OS or Linux, you can download it from here. Once the download is finished and you open up the program, we can just sign in. Here I'm just going to sign up with Google, and we are in. Okay, what we want to do now is get our uh, endpoint link that we actually copied when we were creating the app, and what we want to do is we want to separate this up. Because um, in here, there are different parameters that are being sent. First of all, wherever you see a question mark, that is the beginning of, that is where the parameters begin. And so the first one is verbose equals true. Now, what this means is that will it return just the top scoring intent? Because when you actually send over a request with your phrase, it will send over a JSON file. And inside of that will be a list of all the different um, intents that it got from it. Since we only have one intent, there's no real purpose to try and get multiple, so we'll just keep that at true. Um, the time zone offset, when we created the app, it gave us a sort of region. Ours was West US. Um, we're just going to keep it like that for now. If you are in a different region, you can um, try and find, you can try and set it up so it's different. But we'll just keep it on West US for now. And that's just the offset from that time zone. Um, subscri subscription key is basically is the authoring key that we had on the site. And the queue is just our actual phrase, our question. So in here, what we want to do is before we hop in, is you want to copy this all the way up to the first question mark. So just before the question mark, we just want to copy that. And inside of Postman here, we should have a get request. We just want to enter it in here into the enter request URL. We just want to enter in that URL we entered. There we go. Now over here in our parameters, we want to start entering our keys. So first of all, verbose is true. So let's enter in verbose with a value of true. We have our time zone offset, negative 360. We also have our subscription key, which is this number here. So let's just copy that and enter in subscription key, paste that in. And finally, we have our queue, which is our question. And for our queue, um, let's just say, can you move forward five meters? All right, we'll just go, can you move back five meters? And once we have that, let's then press on the send button and see what we get in return. And as you can see, we got a JSON file back. Um, with our intents here, we got the intent of move, which is the top scoring one of 0.98, so it's basically move. And down here in our entities, we got a move direction of back and a move distance of 5. So we can actually set verbose to false since I actually had the wrong way around. We have to, yeah, let's set to false, click send, and yeah, we only get the top scoring intent, which is what we want. So verbose is false, time zone offset 360. It doesn't really matter what you set your time zone offset to. Um, subscription key, it has to be that authoring key from the site, and the queue can be whatever question you want to ask. All right, so we know we, it now works and it's connected. Um, we can now begin setting it up inside of Unity.